Hello there. After temperatures reached 30 degrees in Cambridge on Wednesday, we saw cooler and fresher air across the whole of the country on Thursday. The next few days, still a lot of dry weather around, some sunshine at times. Later in the weekend, though, we may see the weather starting to change. But at the moment, higher pressure is moving across the UK. That's really settling things down. So the showers in northern Scotland are moving away. The winds will be falling lighter here as well. And after a sunny start, we'll see cloud developing over land. But with sea breezes, the coastal areas are likely to be uh, sunny and dry as well. And those temperatures very similar to what we had on Thursday. 17 or 18, Scotland, Northern Ireland with a high of 24 in the sunshine in the southeast of England. But this high pressure is not going to hang around. It actually starts to move away over the weekend. As we head into Saturday, it allows this weather front to push up from the south. Now that's going to bring with it certainly more cloud northwards across England and Wales. And there could be one or two showers as well, although many places should be dry. And we've still got sunnier skies for the far north of England, Scotland and Northern Ireland. But the winds will be a bit stronger. It's uh, generally more of an easterly wind that's coming in across England and Wales. So these coastal areas will take see temperatures a bit lower but a southerly breeze for Scotland and Northern Ireland and more sunshine so here it's going to be warmer and we could get the same temperature in Glasgow as we're going to see in London where we've got much more cloud at least until later in the day. That high pressure continues to move away this weather front tries to come in from the Atlantic but ahead of it we draw up a bit more warmth a bit more humidity and the potential for some storms. That cloud though continues northwards up to Scotland and Northern Ireland Sunshine for England and Wales will then generate the cloud that could give us some uh, thundery showers uh, later on in the day and introduce some warm and humid air from the near continent. So temperatures could reach 26 or 27 degrees with more cloud for Scotland and Northern Ireland. Those temperatures won't be quite as high on Sunday. So things are changing at the end of the weekend and we could see some storms pushing northwards up the eastern side of the country on Sunday night and this weather front will in turn push across from the west. So we've got wetter weather around to start the week and of course we're moving into autumn, meteorological autumn. This wetter weather continues to affect eastern areas towards the west. It should become drier with more sunshine, Northern Ireland, Wales and the southwest of England and those temperatures may be a little bit lower as well. Now once that weather front does move through it's just going to linger across northern parts of Scotland, keep some dull wet weather here but we're still left with low pressure close to the UK sitting here over Ireland. It's going to feed in lots of showers and some stronger winds to England and Wales and those showers will push into southern Scotland and Northern Ireland as the winds pick up here into the afternoon. So temperatures about 18 to 22 degrees. Now looking further ahead we've got a big distortion or undulation of the jet stream and that leaves us with something that we call a cutoff low. It's sort of stranded there and it's going to stick around over the course of next week. You see it starts to move away and then it comes back in. The position of though is by no means certain but it looks like we're going to maintain more unsettled weather around. There'll be some showers, there'll be some sunshine, temperatures not changing very much around 18 to uh, 22 Celsius. That's it for me. Goodbye.